Improvement Series. My name is Kyle Zagrodsky, founder and CEO of Go Figure Club Management Software. We bring these series to you to help give you tips to improve your club in a lot of different ways. I myself have owned nine clubs along with my wife Brenda and have owned and operated Go Figure for 13 years now, traveling all over the world and meeting professionals in the health industry. I take from my own experience in running the clubs as well as collecting ideas and stories from other people whom I highly respect this industry and share them with you. I like providing information in quick, concise format so that you can apply it quickly yourself without having to spend a lot of time in front of your computer or watching a guy talk about running a health club or giving you cool ideas on operations. At the beginning of this year, I had made a New Year's resolution to start switching to more natural eating, of getting away from pesticides and and uh, foods that were not organic to more organic eating or natural raised meats and vegetables and things like that. And my family and I have been transitioning that direction ever since January. We're now approaching May of 2011 at the shooting of this video. And uh, about three or four weeks ago I was listening to the radio and there was a nutrition guy talking on the, uh, radio, on the, on the weekend deals. I was on the way to the hardware store or something. And he was talking about um, very specifics about eating the right kinds of fats and the proteins and the types of carbohydrates to have and avoid and a lot of these things you and I already know. But I, I appreciated hearing it and he did give me some ideas and teach me about some things I didn't know and as it turns out the guy was a chiropractor and I had been thinking about going to the chiropractor because I was getting some back pain and whatever I thought well this kind of seems like the place I should be going so I went to go check out uh, the chiropractor that he'd referred in his, in his uh, radio address and she was uh, had an office in an extremely busy office. I mean, kudos to her. She's running an amazing business, and I can tell she's doing very well. Um, I've gone over there, and I've had a number of adjustments, and I go, and they've taught me exercises and stretches to do before the adjustments. And as I'm sitting there getting my adjustments, I'm watching the TV screen. They're promoting a um, maximized living se uh, uh, seminar that they have coming up in a couple weeks and in that seminar they're going to teach us about detoxifying your body, exercise, stretching, nutrition, um, creating a whole mental attitude around your health. When I'm in the office everybody there knows my name. From the first day I walked in it was all about me. I, everybody's focused on me. Everybody's focused on my health and, and the straightening of my spine just seems to be like one of five or six things they're always talking about there. And so when I'm sitting there doing these exercises, I'm watching this TV screen and this constant information. And what I realized is, is this is not just a chiropractic office. This is a whole health office. They're taking a, a holistic, complete, top to bottom approach to my health. And not only are they just interested in running a business, but they have actually become advocates for my well-being and I was looking at her business and the way she runs it and I'll have to say that um, health clubs could really learn a lot from the way that this chiropractor is running her business because she is not just out there trying to make money I could tell that this is her passion and her the success of her business is a symptom of her passion and she is taking a complete approach to wellness, to my wellness, and I feel very personal about the way she is treating me, and I can see that she treats that everybody else in the office the exact same way. And so what I want to share with you today is to consider taking a paradigm shift towards your club and the way you run things, and shifting from just trying to help people through fitness and possibly nutrition and weight loss, but achieving and attacking a whole approach to covering every aspect of their well-being and then becoming the advocate for that person. Is that advocate for that person's physical well-being and sometimes you're at odds with their mind and their culture and the way they've been raised and then you advocate for them and advocate for them until you teach them how to advocate for themselves and taking care of themselves. And I'm talking about teaching people how to transition from uh, from uh, genetically modified foods, foods that may have pesticides in them too, organic and natural foods, teaching them about supplementation and finding the best supplements at the best prices, teaching people how to detoxify their bodies, get plugged in to the chiropractors in the areas. You know, I avoided going to chiropractors for a long time because uh, I had a neck injury when I was about 20 
And when I go, went and visited one, I didn't really have a great experience, but I'm finding now that in just a few weeks of having visited this one that I'm starting to see some benefits. And from the testimonies of the people I talked to in that office, I can't believe I went this long without, go, went, without going to a chiropractor and getting my back straightened out. And I'm telling you, getting plugged into these people and then attacking health problems that we're seeing in this country uh, together as a group with chiropractors, get it plugged in with a good nutritionist, a good line of supplements, and start taking this seriously. I mean, pretend that it is your job to advocate for every member you have in your club, not just for their fitness, but all over. Consider doing a seminar and teaching your members and inspiring them there to teach them specific areas. Become an expert in an area and teach to them or get experts to teach them. Now, one of the things that I've started to do with my business is we've created an additional brand. You're going to be hearing about it soon, whereby we're going to take this approach as well. We're going to be a tool for health clubs to be able to carry this message and to prove the way you guys uh, advocate for your members and make them stronger and healthier. And we want to help you do that and give you the tools because it's sometimes hard to put all this stuff together. I have a great benefit of having been around the world a lot and talked to a lot of people and I know how it is when you're running a club or a small chain of five or six clubs to to consolidate all this information into one place and package it in such a way that makes your club just a fantastic place to help elevate people's well-being and that's what I think we can do. Start thinking outside of your club. We've talked about doing a lot of different things outside of your club before, improving things inside and retention. And I think once people realize that you are interested in their overall physical well-being, it's going to help your retention and certainly help your profit centers. Start looking at these, uh, these series here that we're doing in these volumes as to implement these tools. But we're going to be coming out with a new brand. We'll let you guys know about it. And it'll be a brand where you guys can get plugged into to help your gym. We're very excited about it. We're implementing it at the beginning stages now. And so I look forward to sharing with you in the future. Today's message, advocate for the well-being and, and physical well-being of your members. And let me tell you, you start thinking about them. And not just the time they're in your club, but their time all day long and teaching them little exercises they can do throughout the day and teaching them how to schedule time to do it. And my gosh, I think that you're going to see that these people really care about you, that you really care about them. And um, you just can't do anything better about your nutrition. That's the impact this chiropractor has had on me and the way I've seen her run her business. I wanted to go ahead and communicate that to you guys today because I'm excited about it and it's going to change the way we start helping you. So thanks again. This is volume number 11. My name is Kyle Zagorodsky. We look forward to seeing you at the next Club Improvement Series. Take care.